Hi, in this tutorial, I will show you how to add the whole lane. To add a whole lane, we need to use a props along spline system. Props along spline system allow you to, to add a field that repeat after a certain distance, such as the tree or a whole lane. It can also be used to add a, the decal here. To do that, select our road spline and come, go to props along spline tab and click on the plus sign to add a new slot. Let's name it road lane at the left because we need a road lane at the right too. You can add as much as you want. That is how you can multi road lane. Now we need to scroll back, scroll down and come to road mesh field. That is where you set your mesh. To be used as a as cross along spline mesh you can also add a blueprint if you want but as you know blueprint can blueprint can instantiate it is, so it is really recommend to be use of mesh instead of blueprints if you can't so click on the plus sign and search for road line white and add this one you can see you can see it happening let's add a second one now we need to offset it so come to props offset and set the offset to 800 now we need uh, to we need to change the spacing between it so we come to post spacing and set the post spacing to we sent to for the offset let me check here what i said okay we set uh, okay we are good to go and uh, we we need to scale it so Come here and set the scale to the mean and mass in the mean and max transform. Set the y scale to this value and in check force uniform scale. What force uniform scale is to, it will do is that it will lock the scale so that it won't stretch in all direction. But in this case, we don't need force uniform scale. If you want more data, you can read the tool, the tool bits, the tool tip. So, as we added this value, you can see that we scale it. We can so let's set it to one or point two, for example. Now we need to we need to tell the system that it will it will always reach it it, it should always use the road the road slot. To populate the road. Now, remark that we added two mesh. We can make it. We can make each user to alternate the mesh as it tile them. So we need to come to road mesh random type and set it to per mesh BP blueprint. So it will randomly select both of them. If you set it to uniform, it will only select one, one of them and spawn it along the road. One thing you can do is, one thing you can also do is to remove, if you want, you can remove the road lane by any amount of the unit. Let's say by two by three, same for the end if you want. But we set it to one. So now we need to add a second lane. Click on the plus sign and right click on the first one to copy it and pass to and pass it on the second slot. Set the name as road lane at right and come here a come here and set the cross spacing to minus the value that is here so we now have the second lane 
that is how you add your lane if you want a road that have multiple lane multiple lane that's how you you do to add it that is how you go to add it now let's add the the middle one set hold lane at mud and scroll down to hold mesh field to add the middle one search for yellow yellow to yellow line which you have something like this again change the post spacing to 800 or uh, let's see A 500 load, a 500 spacing is good. So come, we need to tell the system to use the bridge, to use the road instead of being on automatic. So we added, we added the middle one. 